We're diving into the fascinating complex life of Benazir Bhutto, Pakistan's first female prime minister. A truly remarkable figure, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Her story is one of immense highs and devastating lows, a real roller coaster of political triumph and tragedy. And a legacy that continues to spark debate even today. Was she a champion of democracy or um, a flawed leader? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Her story is um, full of contradictions. Let's unpack some of those contradictions, starting with her early life. A privileged upbringing, yet she dedicated herself to a life of public service. Right. The juxtaposition of her elite background and her commitment to the Pakistani people is striking. Her education at Radcliffe and Oxford, we'll that must have shaped her worldview significantly. Undoubtedly, those experiences exposed her to different ideologies and perspectives, influencing her political philosophy. And yet she returned to a Pakistan grappling with military rule and political turmoil. Quite a contrast to the academic world. A stark contrast indeed. She went from debating at the Oxford Union to facing imprisonment under Zia ul Haq. The death of her father, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, must have been a pivotal moment. A traumatic event that propelled her into the leadership of the PPP. A heavy mantle to bear, for sure. Her first term as prime minister, a period of both progress and controversy. She implemented some social reforms, but faced immense opposition from conservative and Islamist forces. The accusations of corruption and nepotism, how much did that damage her image? It significantly tarnished her reputation, both domestically and internationally. Yeah, it really did. And her dismissal by President Ghulam Ishaq Khan, a clear indication of the power struggle she faced. It highlighted the fragility of democracy in Pakistan and the powerful forces arrayed against her. Her second term saw more economic liberalization, but also more controversy. The privatization efforts were significant, but the corruption allegations persisted, sadly. The relationship with her brother? Murtaza Bhutto, a complex and tragic element of her story. A deeply personal and political conflict that ultimately ended in tragedy. It was awful. His assassination casts a long shadow over her legacy. It raises questions about the extent of her involvement, or at least her culpability. A lot of questions, yes. Her self-imposed exile, a period of reflection and regrouping. A time to strategize and plan her return to Pakistani politics. The negotiations with Pervez Mushraf, a controversial deal that paved the way for her comeback. A pragmatic move, but one that alienated some of her supporters. I can see that. And then the, the assassination, a shocking end to a remarkable life. A brutal act that silenced a powerful voice and left many questions unanswered. So many. Her ideology, a blend of liberalism and pragmatism. She adapted her political platform to suit the circumstances, sometimes to her detriment. Her stance on women's rights, a complex and often contradictory issue. She championed women's rights in some ways, but also made compromises with conservative forces, a difficult balancing act. Her relationship with the West, a source of both support and criticism. She sought Western support, but her actions sometimes clashed with Western interests. It was a complicated situation. Her legacy, a subject of ongoing debate and interpretation. A mixed legacy, marked by both achievements and failures. Was she a champion of democracy or a flawed leader? Both, perhaps. Her story defies simple categorization, absolutely. She remains a divisive figure, even in death. Her story continues to resonate, prompting reflection on the complexities of leadership and legacy. Her foreign policy, navigating a complex geopolitical landscape. She attempted to balance relationships with the West and Islamic nations. Her relationship with India, a fluctuating dynamic marked by both cooperation and conflict. A relationship shaped by the Kashmir issue and nuclear proliferation concerns. Her role in Pakistan's nuclear program, a subject of much speculation. The extent of her knowledge and involvement remains a matter of debate. Her domestic policies, a mix of social reforms and economic liberalization. She attempted to balance competing interests and priorities. The persistent accusations of corruption, a significant blemish on her record. The allegations and subsequent convictions significantly damaged her credibility, undeniably. Benazir Bhutto's life was a whirlwind of political activity, personal tragedy, and enduring controversy. Her story is a reminder of the complexities of leadership, particularly in a volatile region. That was a great discussion. Thanks so much.